having had that realization that, yeah, you know what? Jesus is right beside me every step of the way when I fall down. Jesus is the one that helps me stand up. Uh, that comfort that we get from Jesus, the confession continues in our plea to God, have mercy on us and forgive us. I think this is one of those parts of the confession that is extremely important for us to take seriously because it's one of those parts where we are really being vulnerable. We've talked about our being vulnerable throughout this confession. You know, the, the very aspect that we are willing to sit down, even if it is a general confession, not very specific, to acknowledge the fact, you know what, I've got some things I need to work on. Uh, and here, again, it's important for us to say, you know, God have mercy on um, you know, I know by I know by right. We, you know, the, the church has said, and literature has said throughout the year. I know by right that I should be condemned, but I know that your mercy and your grace really can't condemn. Your mercy and your grace, as seen through Christ, is a mercy and grace that lifts us up. So we plead on that mercy, and we should not take that mercy for granted. And I'm afraid that too often we do that, especially when we fail to do the repenting and just find ourselves saying, oh yeah, sorry about that, shouldn't do it, won't do it again, and continue doing the same thing. Um, may we tread carefully not to take God's mercy and grace for granted. Have mercy on us. We're acknowledging the fact, I need God's mercy. I need something larger than I am to help me. Have mercy, O oh God, on me and forgive us. Forgive us. Remove that, that, that burden that we're bearing. You know, in some of the, the older versions of the creed, where we, or the creed, I'm going to get it before these are over. I'm not going to call it the creed, I promise. Older versions of the confession, we talk about the remembrance of our sins is intolerable. The burden is intolerable. Um, and forgiveness is that assurance that, you know what, those sins are, have been forgiven us. Too often, traditions uh, seek to weigh us down with our sins. It's a way of controlling people by saying, oh, you're a miserable sinner. You must go. Oh, my goodness. We've probably all heard that narrative from time to time. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is God looking at us and saying, you know what? I forgot all about it. I heard someone, it's, it's a well-worn, well-used story, so I can't remember now exactly where I heard it the first time, uh, but it was this, this account of this person standing on the seashore, and they were lamenting their sins and wondering, oh, the burden, I've got to get from under this. And a, a, the wave of the ocean, you know how the, wave, the waves come in, and it splashed a drop of water on their hand, and they heard a voice from heaven say, do you see that drop of water? Yes. That's your sin, one of your sins. Cast it back into the ocean. They cast that water back in the ocean. Falls into that great body of water. And the voice from heaven again said, Now go find that drop of water. The person goes, I can't find that drop of water. God says, Neither can I find your sins when they've been forgiven. At the heart of the confession is the great realization we have been forgiven if we are truly, as we hear, contrite and mean it. You know, we, we do the greatest job of not forgiving our sins when we refuse to take it seriously and say, you know what, I am going to try and not take advantage of that mercy. I am going to try. Now, we talked a couple of days ago and said, you know, we're always going to continue to sin. That's not a problem. The problem is when we become so callous to the sin that we say, eh, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Or we get to the point where we take it for granted and go, oh yeah, God will forgive me, I'll just keep doing it. And true repentance, amendment of life, is at the heart of the confession. God's mercy extends to us at all times and in all places from now until the end of the ages. God's forgiveness is there for us. Even when we don't think we deserve it, we have a role in that forgiveness, to work with God, help God transform us, help God give us the strength we need to come out of this as a repentant heart. And when we realize we've been forgiven, that our sins are like that drop of water in the ocean that we can't find and God doesn't look for them anymore, then we have arrived at true forgiveness for our sins.